I am welcome, everybody. I am so sorry. I'm three minutes late. Um, yeah, my my um, phone said it was offline. How? How is my phone offline? Anyway, hello, welcome. My name is Sandy, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Ontario, Canada. And I'm wiggling the table. My, my apologies. Um, so, it's the last day of the month. Can you believe it? I can't. I'm just going to make sure everybody's working here while I'm talking. So, um, oh, well, I do believe it is. Yeah, it's the last day of celebration. What happened? Where'd this month go? I mean, I, I'm i not unhappy for March, let me tell you. Hey, Bea, how are you? I hope you're having a good week. There we go. It's working. So, yeah, last day of celebration, which is the last day to earn um, free products with your 60, they're, they're in increments of $60, let's put it that way. Um, last day to join, um, you can join anytime, but this is the, this is a fabulous joining offer, which I know I've talked your ear off about, but it is, it's, it's too good to pass up. So this is your last day. Um, I don't think I put the link in the description so i i'm hoping facebook will let me do that after last week it let me do nothing weird huh hey elsie how are you um what else oh i think i've said this but i have a crappy memory um this is the only celebration this year so if you're thinking no i think maybe i'll join in like august no it's the only one this year um what else Oh, okay. So tonight you're actually getting a sneak peek of a card that I'm that is for uh, my March first Positive Inkers Global Design Team um, Insta Hop and Blog Hop. So you're getting to see it a day early. Look at you. It's pretty. Um, it's a sketch challenge, um, which can be challenging. Um, I made the sketch, so you'd, I had nothing in mind when I made the sketch. Let's put it that way. <laughs> absolutely nothing um we're going to be using the irresistible what's it called irresistible blooms you should know i've got the stamp set right beside me so this probably will be backwards but this is one of the cards i made a few weeks ago with the i'm looking in the wrong spot um my card i made a few weeks ago and then this one as well i know there's a third one but i can't find it typical me i put all my cards into one bin first time in a very long time and I can't find them anyway so um so the set that we're using is um an exclusive online um product and um available as of tomorrow March the 1st pff, 2023 <laughs> and available in my online off on my online store so if you're planning on placing a celebration order do it tonight. Do it tonight. Um, early enough in case you need me to help you uh, with your order. Because it does happen. Sometimes the system glitches up. You never know. Anyway, I say we get started. So, look at my... You get to look at my the, my palm of my hand. How exciting is that? I wrote something else down here. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, now I keep making cards every week. And I just do my own thing. So, this time... Um, I'm going to ask you, um, whether you're watching live right now or watching the replay on Facebook or YouTube, um, if you could let me know, um, what, um, what, what you'd like to, to see me make in the future. Um, I'm not super great at fun folds, but I can certainly give it my best try if that's what you're thinking. Um, if you want to see a card from start to finish, like right from cutting um, scoring and if I'm doing em embossing, heat embossing or otherwise, let me know. So yeah, if you could leave that in the comments, I really need to know. I want to make sure I'm giving you something that you want to see. This is, this is something I like making, but I want, I want to know what you want to see. So let me know in the comments. Alrighty. Ooh, I almost hit the finish button. Can you believe it? That would be not good. All right. So you get to see my hand for a second as I turn the camera up, 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 oh, and then tighten it so it stays put, and switch the camera around, and then, of course, as always, 
I have to move it up so I can actually reach. One of these days I will get that perfected, but I notice this time I do not see the black line on the side, so I think we're doing really well. Hey Marjorie, how are you this evening? Oh, and I also wanted to say, I'm not ignoring your comments. Let me get my light down here. I'm not ignoring your comments. I was trying to reply to comments today, and I click comments, and Facebook goes, eh, no, no, you don't get to, you don't get to reply to comments. It is the weirdest thing. All right, so there's that set again. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, with, I'll, I'll bring, I don't have all the dies in here because I'm going to use some tonight because we're going to die cut. So there's, there's more die cut for this, this, um, this one's in here. This one's in here. We have leaves, there's circles. I think that's what I'm using tonight. Oh, there's a circle. Well, you'll see it shortly. And, um, anyway, just a really beautiful set and it's part of a, an entire suite of products. So, and that was shown in the cards I showed you at the beginning of the vehicle, vehicle <laughs> video. Oh, nope. None of those cards had it. Alrighty. So we'll carry on though. Okay. Carry on. Gorgeous, gorgeous. All right. Move that out of the way. Isn't it funny? Oh, I was going to say when you have everything ready and you can't find where you put it. I have a whole bunch of stuff in here. Like, wah. Right down to that little piece. I don't get rid of things. Remember, one second. I have a squeaky chair tonight for some reason. Isn't that weird? Like it's like squeaking all the place. Remember this piece? So this and a bunch of others are all a part of that. And I'm not wasting it. You know, I'm not wasting it. So it's a really cool piece. That's the piece, if you remember, that reminds me of my... Our, our, um, my old childhood home where um, we had some, my parents had some renovations done and my sister and I then shared the same bedroom and, and um, they were going to put this um, beaded curtain between us. We didn't get along at all, at all. <laughs> Alrighty, so here we go. Uh, this is the base of the card. This is basic white, just a regular, because I'm going to use layers and an inside piece, so you don't need to use the thick. There's times when you need it and times when you don't. Four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half, and I forgot this part, so, and bone fold. Use your use your bone folder to get a really beautiful crease. And get your card to lay flatter. It's, it's actually easier while you're making the card if it's as flat as it can be. Alrighty, so I have already cut this piece, and I hope you can see the detail. This is uh, four and four and one eighth by five and three eighths, and I have used part of the online exclusive, which is where you get these three folders together. This is what I call the cross hatch one. This one's the dots. I don't know what to call this one. So I could call them one, two, and three, but I love the cross hatch look. So these are a, a bundle of three. Alrighty, so that's gonna go in there. I also have basic black and some of the ready to ride. And you might be wondering this how this is all gonna go together. It will. Uh, the basic black is two and one quarter by hmm, five and a quarter. The ready to ride is two and one eighth by five and one eighth. And let's just, let me just think. Not gluing that down yet. Nope, not gluing it down. <laughs> don't, don't make that mistake, Sandy. You have to look at the card to make sure you're doing it right. And my glue, the glue I wanted is hopefully this one. Wait, nope, it's this side. Both sides look really great. So it, I, I don't see that it matters really which you're using. Alrighty. Does any, let me know, <laughs> am I, I'm not the only one that loves texture and embossing and all that, am I? Do you also enjoy that? Let me know. Facebook loves when you share my video and Facebook loves comments apparently. And I, I really do my best to get, uh, to get to those comments. All right, so this is, this is cool paper too. 
this is actually little blocks. Um, this this paper is from the mini catalog. So just because celebration is ending does not mean that the mini is ending as well. You have a little bit more time on that one. All right, so let's glue the glue those two together. Nice even little border. Little wiggle time required. I always need my wiggle time as it as it were. Alrighty, and just let those sit for a couple minutes. Let those dry. Alrighty, and we're gonna need this for sure. So here's that die I was talking about, the circular one. And we're going to be using that. And I thought I would show you, I thought it might be good, instead of me just doing everything, that you see how I use the um, adhesive sheets. I almost forgot the name of them. So with your adhesive sheet, what I like to do is I cut it, hopefully, well not completely, I'm going to cut it down just a little bit more. I try to cut it to the size that I need. Now this is a circle, so it's a little bit harder. I don't really want overhang because when you take the um, the backing off, it's really sticky. Which side do I want? I'll find it. There we go. Okay, so it's <laughs> get those fingernails working. This is what happens when you cut your fingernails short. I've been doing so much paper quilling that I have I have hurt my hurt my fingernails. All right, so I peel off only one section at a time. Uh, this is just a scrap. So this is um, sweet sorbet. And what I do, I like to curve it. So I'm going to put it down on one side, and then I peel this side off. It will result, if you're lucky, in a whole lot. Oh, my hands are cold too. In a whole lot less um, stickiness getting on your hands. We still went over the edge. I'm going to cut that off. And I want to tell you today, I, I um, cleaned my scissors. Not with water. That was really lousy. Not with water. And you can get this, well, I got mine at a surplus store in Kitchener Water. Kitchener? Yeah, Kitchener Waterloo. Um, but you can get these elsewhere. So, it looks horrible. Stampin' Up! used to sell them. I mean, it looks horrible because it's been used. And I now I don't know if you saw how sticky that was. Just give that a clean. It doesn't sharpen it. It just cleans the goo off. I always get goo on my scissors from that. So that little guy, I don't know what it's called. An erasing something or other. All right, so now that that's on, don't do what I did. I actually sent it through this way once on my, <laughs> through, through the um, cutting machine. And um, yeah, that was a mistake. Oh, hey there, Joyce. Welcome. Hi, Shirley. Welcome. Alrighty, so tonight I'm asking for, is it going to fit? Yes, it will. I'm using the mini. So again, this is the last night you can get the, the mini as part of your joining, the joining offer, either the boho blue or the white. Right, so I'm using the mini. I'm going to just like regular cutting. Did I lose a plate? Of course I did. Bottom plate always. This is my horrible cutting plate. I'm going to get new ones. I actually cracked one of my, um, from overuse, I cracked one of my, my plates. I've never had that happen. Okay, and it does fit. Facing that down, facing that down, it goes side to side. You know what, if it doesn't cut all the way through, I can always send it through again. It's kind of iffy at this point. <laughs> Wait. And I'm not using, I quite often use um, like a washi tape to hold it in place. It's going to hold. All right, so running it through. And I thought I would use a small one. Just have to get over the hump. Oh, my goodness. Okay, you know what I did wrong? Yeah, you see that? I did not layer them. More like that will work way better. This machine does not really like... Well, it doesn't have thoughts. But the machine doesn't work well when you send all three through at the same time. And I'm still, oh my goodness, I did a bunch of um, uh, snow clearing. No, no, ice clearing today because I'm having a new couch finally. Well, we're having a new couch delivered tomorrow, and there was a bunch of ice on the front step. So, oh my, my hands are tired. I, this is really going super slow. There we go. It's not usually like this. It's the user. Mm-hmm. It's me. 
There we go. And then it just scrolls right through. I think I was supposed to do it this way, you know, with them facing that direction. Let's see if it went all the way through after all that. Well, not completely in my my estimation. So we're going to do that again. Uh, we can't go that way. I hope that's a different direction. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Let me try it this way this time. So I'm going to put them through smaller or like steps but backwards that did not make any sense whatsoever whatsoever all right here we go again oh and that's going much smoother this time all right we're also going to heat emboss tonight oh I, i've got it all all of it worked out for sure and i will post a picture if it turns out of the uh, new couch and chair matching chair we've been waiting since Oh, well, not that long. It was before Christmas, I believe. So it could be worse. I think it's through. Alrighty. If it's not, well, that's going to be fun, isn't it? And I have to move some things. All right, let's see if, let's see if it's coming out. You know, I, oh, oh didn't put my lid on. Or lay it flat for the video. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's get some of these guys out and see what we're looking at. I find it easier if I if I don't take the whole thing out at first, and then I can I can I find I can see better to see what actually might need another little run through. With the big one, I usually go back and forth. I don't know why I didn't do that with the little guy. It is so light, by the way. I had um which is kind of nice when you have overworked yourself. I actually went out twice today because it was mild, and I thought for sure I'd be able to get the ice the second time. Yeah, no. Just the front step. Everything else is good. All right, are you coming out? I think so. There we go. I like to be really gentle, too. You may have noticed. I don't want to pull on it. You've got these holes. Use your take-your-pick tool. There you go. Okay. And you know me, I don't want it like this. No, I'm going to locate my scissors. Who does that? Because, okay, I've got, I have another set. Good gracious. I honestly lose things in front of my face. I could have sworn I just used them. All right, so we're going to cut this out. And I'm giving it a rough cut first so I can get closer. And in case I mess any of these up, they will be under the flowers, hopefully. Just a couple more. It's a little harder cutting through, and these are not nice like the Stampin' Up! scissors. Um, these are a whole lot harder to use. All right. Oh, and you too. There we go. So, all righty. I'm still looking for them. Isn't that weird? They were just in my little roundabout thing. Okay. No worries. These might not be quite as pretty. All right. So I'm just going to attempt to round them. Remember we have the um, adhesive. The adhesive. Let's go this direction. See if it works. If I can get a grip on it. They may not be beautiful. know if there's um again let me know what you want to see let me know if there's like a technique um like what you might want watercoloring there's so many different techniques you can use masking uh oh i think i just about i think i just about squashed that one or wrecked that one you're going under the flower for sure that's like the messiest ever these are not the sharpness I would like, especially for going around little little curves. Oh, I was going to say, if you're on Instagram and you haven't already started following me, 
there's there's a little sometimes there's a little more content there just because I I post other things um, other than than um, cards. So it's always fun to check it out. And I'm not like a mega poster. I don't post like six things a day and fill up your feed. Those are the worst circles I've ever seen. Well, actually, and it's blurry, so I'm not even sure how bad they look. Groovy. On to the next step. I'm not taking the backing off yet. Not till I'm ready. Oh, step aside. Step aside. I went ahead and die cut some of or the leaves. And I also thought that I would take the plain white leaf and emboss it using that same crosshatch just for a little more texture. So my card has texture. There's those guys again. They're coming over. And the rest of the surprises are on that side. So what we're going to do is get out our stamps. And in case you haven't seen, um, I'm pretty sure you have, but in case you haven't seen um, heat embossing, we're going to have a quick lesson. And plus we need these for tonight. I found them, by the way. I just looked over. They were underneath my silicone mat, which um, I had just moved. Silly, silly Sandy. All right. So I'm, oh, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. So this is a piece of paper from the uh -oh, Sun Rats, Sun Prints. So you might probably, you probably remember this side. And I thought, what would happen if I took this scrap of paper and heat embossed the flowers on top? The look is going to be really subtle, but I like it. So here we go. So this is my Versamark. It's probably due for um, a re-inking. When you, when you ink up your Versamark, be sure, be sure to make sure when you, that you use quite a bit. Okay, and Joyce is saying, I'm terrible at heat embossing. Well, here's a lesson. Now, of course, it would be a whole lot easier to see this on a different color. So I may not be doing you a whole lot of favors here but and it's also really hard to see where you stamp so I want to make sure all these guys fit on here and if not I have more paper because who doesn't have too much paper now because it's very hot I am not doing all three at the same time I save the big flower for the second bit now I keep my heat my embossing the white I have the most of. This was before it came in um, a bundle of three. And I think, um, I forget how many of the containers. They're this size. I forget how many of the containers are in here. Okay, so the reason you use the um, embossing buddy, by the way, is to keep the static. Get rid of the static. So, oops. So the wrong things... So you don't get those little white bits or black or whatever color you're using. You don't get those around what you're doing. Now we're heat embossing and we're going to um, cut it rather. So it's not going to be the end of the world. This is going to be noisy for a second. You may, oh no, maybe not. I thought I had a, a, sh um, a halo, but I don't think it is. Okay, here comes some heat embossing. This again, I say this every time, this never gets old. Some people say leave your tool in one spot. Some people do this underneath. Oh no, I do it. I do it this way. And I am hoping you can see this. So there's the start. And usually for videos, I will um, heat it in advance. But I forgot. My apologies. The other thing with it is you want to make sure you get all the way around. So you need to go kind of back and forth with the light for your eyes, if you're like me. See how much faster this one's going? Because you want to make sure you haven't left any powder. Beautiful. I'm, I'm sometimes really bad for um, forgetting to do like a little corner. Alrighty. 
Oh, I love your comment, Joyce. I do love watching it change. It is the be all and end all. Now, because I put my fingers here, I'm putting more embossing buddy down. Now, make sure this big guy fits. And it does. Look at that. Yay. And you notice this isn't like, I don't find this to be like regular ink where you, you know, go tap, tap, tap. I'm like, let's get in there and get this thing nicely worked up. The one thing I find I do the most is I heat emboss. Well, I love heat embossing, but sentiments. I absolutely love the look. It's a bigger image, so I'm just going to let it sit there for a little bit. There we go. And then close this. Close this all the time. Store it upside down. Close this too. I didn't this time because I knew I'd be reusing or using it again. The cool thing about heat embossing also is that as soon as you're done, the paper might be hot, but the embossing is all done. Nice and dry. This time I am going to put the lid on because we don't want any accidents happening there. I haven't ever I haven't ever dumped it, but I don't want to. So we're just heating up the powder. There we go. Again, faster because the um, heat gun is already hot. When I first started heat embossing, um, I was taught to keep it, keep this four to five inch, inches away. Now that I've been doing this for a long time, I know that if I keep it moving, I'm not going to burn my paper um, and it's going to work out. All right, let's just get that off to the side. When it's cooling, remember to put the leg down. And don't, don't touch the end. All righty. Okay, I'm not using washi tape. I am really, really, really looking forward to someday, someday, you know what I'm looking for, the third plate. Um, Sandy, honest to Pete, get out of town. <laughs> I am the worst for losing things. I have a solution. Un momento. Bring out the big dude. Because my plates stay in there. I knew I wasn't, you know, I'm going to look again and go, it's right there. Okay. Now, if, since we don't have a magnetic, magnetic plate, you can use, um, like again, washi tape. And look at that port plate. Oh my goodness. Okay. And again, the trick to this particular die is the bumps down here match the bumps on this. I'm just going to show you the washi tape thing. Okay, this is old Stampin' Up! washi tape. I, it just was hanging around, and I find that it works. But I do not want to rip my paper. So use your sleeve, whatever. Use your, your blue jeans or sweatpants, whatever you're wearing. And um, take some of the stick off. And there we go. I don't usually do two at a time, but I'm going to throw caution to the wind and do two just to speed things up a bit. Same thing with this one. The bumps set on screen. Can't tell. The bumps are down here. So it goes just like that. No fussing. It's all there. And another piece. I'll just use my pant leg this time. Zoop. There we go rather than stick my arm back in the video. All right, maybe we'll just hold them down like that. Groovy, there we go. I know, how many times do I say groovy a day? I even said it to the dogs today. Good gracious, because they were good boys. Alrighty. I don't have to check that they... Um, cut all the way through as you can tell you can you can tell you can feel it when it's working okay so I don't need that die right now let's set it in our little magnetic bowl to stay put I do need this one again so off you go off you go stay don't don't let me lose you too and then one more of these 
Sometimes I'm on a, you know what? Sometimes I have to actually see the dye without the washi tape on it. Sometimes I just sit and heat emboss. Get a whole bunch of greetings done. And uh, I just keep them for when I need them. I have a little tray for them. And I'm like, I need a birthday one. They're already done. And if I'm really, really efficient, I, I cut them as well. Die cut them. Sometimes I fussy cut. But you know me and fussy cutting. Mm hmm I always run it back through just to hold everything in place. They are warped, which isn't a surprise. So you want to keep turning your plates over. And again, because of the die cutting, this should not, should not, but I could be wrong, should not stick. Now you might be wondering, with all that, there we go, back here is not going to matter. With That was terrible, Sandy. <laughs> with all that um, heat embossing on there, can you actually see the design? I can, but it's it's like one of those things where you actually have to be there in person to see them. You get in the bowl too. Alrighty, so this guy messed up a bit, so maybe I get to hide him a bit. I am not sure. Maybe not. All right, so assembly, darlings, assembly. Here we go. Now, again, I didn't glue this down on purpose because I want to put these guys on. And when I when it went through the die, um, the die cutting machine, I um, I used uh, the same thing, the same uh, adhesive sheets to keep them in place. All right. This is also cut using um, the ready to ride, but it's it's the one that looks more like tire tracks. You can't really see it. And then, see, that's not going to go in the right direction. I get to be I get to be picky. It takes forever. <laughs> there's something there's something about getting that tape off too. It's a little tricky when it's this tiny. By the way. Sometimes, do 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 do. It's very frustrating. Try this one. Poke that little piece out. Wasn't really necessary. So the one tip I would give you with this is, when you're die cutting, this. Notice how it has a solid end. You may be lucky to actually, when you put your paper down, um, get it to cut and, and hold it. Now this I cut from, I cut them in two, you know. Alrighty. This one's just not going to cooperate, but I'm not going to, I am not fiddling with it anymore. Nope. And you know what? I still don't see that plate. Maybe there's too many clear things on my on my um, little trolley beside me. Delicate, but it can be done. One more. So I don't really want to overdo it. Three is a good number. That's so crooked. That is so crooked. And those went right to the right to the edge. So I can't really tell you the size of the size I used. Beauty. It um of paper I used to make this. It's just basically the length of the length of the die plus a little bit. I'm gonna take a while I'm gluing, I'm gonna take a look up at the computer for a second. Hello there, Sandy. Happy Tuesday, happy last day of the month, last day of celebration to you. All right. Same thing, nice and, oh, down. I like, I would kind of like to have an even border. There we go. Beauty. Now this guy gets to go down next. So the sketch, the sketch was 
a piece here, a piece here, kind of a circular looking thing here, and whatever else you want to put on it. You don't have to, um, you never, now that I found my good scissors, now that I found my good scissors and put them under, I'm going to try and clean these up a little bit. Um, sketches are fun because you're not copying the sketch. You're using it as a, a guide. So they offer a lot of freedom. So I, I'm always excited when we do sketch challenges, um, which again, will go live tomorrow. And to see how everyone interprets the um, uh, my sketch. Now on Instagram, it will show the sketch tomorrow. It'll be a group of, I forget, five or six pictures. Okay, those are going to have to be good enough. Or we're going to be here all night. I figured this would be a quick one. <laughs> I'm always wrong. Is our March coming in like a... um? I think it's a lamb tomorrow. I think we're actually expecting rain. Um, yesterday, yesterday we had, night before, night before, we had a lot of um, heavy snow. I didn't go out at all, so I don't know. I'm just taking off the adhesive sheet. I don't know if um, we got the freezing rain or not. But yeah, so far, I'd say a lamb. And the, the thing is, when I have my grandson, I don't really, I don't really have to go out. I don't have to go out. Alrighty. That can go there. Let me just see. Now nah, they're all pretty. I did a pretty awful job on most of them. Let's put it that way. Alrighty. There. Alright. Quickly. Quickly. <laughs> I can't be rushed. I can't be rushed. How about you, Sandy? Are you expecting and everybody, are you expecting nasty weather? A nasty start to March or just a regular start? Let's get these guys on. Have to pop up. Have to. Because right now the card's very flat and I don't like that part. So. And I usually don't take the backings off until I'm completely ready. So, oops. Let's go here. I, I want... I want part of this to be shown. It's, it's, well, as you know, it's all visual. It's all visual. There we go. And we use three on that one as well. Ta-da! And we are so going to be getting a lamb. Cool. All right. And this guy can just go kind of like, I'm like, well, how did I, why did I put that so close to the edge? You can't always peel off the, um, the dimensional, but see how even a difference that makes just popping that up. All right. We also have, like I said, our leaves that are pre-done and I'm losing them. <laughs> All righty. Oh my gosh. And I think we're going to move on to, yep, these guys. You can use glue. And actually I did on the original and I'm just... I'm just happier with it being, um, see how that's going to go. Um, nope. Being, um, a glue dot. I like the way it holds together. So just put those together with a glue dot. Do the same with this one. Oh, here I have a question for you. Would you like to see the sentiment in red? I've already fussy cut way too close. Or would you like to see it in black? I wish I hadn't cut that so close. And I'm pretty sure you're not going to want me to um, heat emboss again. I could be wrong. Alrighty. So while you're you're letting me know, I'm just going to attach these. So there's your glue dot on the front. Glue dot on the back. One there. And one at the back. That's the back. One there. All right. And just place them. So I am lifting it up. It's not, wait, do I want it that way or do I want it? I don't know. The, gru the really cool thing about this is you can move them, especially when it's on paper like this. Oh, and my screen, of course, went dark again. So let's go here. 
little off the page. I just like the way it looks. That one. No, you know what? I want, because this is white on white, it's a little bit harder to see. And one more glue dot. Black. I like the black one. I do like the black one better. Oh, I shouldn't say that before you've all voted. There we go. I'm just going to leave that for now. And we're going to go do the inside. So here we go. I know I cut an inside piece. I seriously know that I cut an inside piece. There it is. Phew. Alrighty. So I had, I like some cards in my, I'll just leave it like that. Some of my cards are, I like to call my scrap cards because I have all these scraps laying around and I want to use them. This was just, this actually came from the inside here. So why I cut it so small is a mystery to me as well. This piece, this piece here, the basic white is four and an eight by five and three eighths. And I'm just going to glue that down right off the bat. Am I? Yes. Just on the ends. And I have to grab my paper this way. Facebook is so slow. My goodness. If you've replied, I cannot tell. I see I see one vote for black. Hangs over a tiny, tiny bit. Scissors. And we'll just cut that off. Like so. Alrighty. Black or red. Alrighty. And then we have these. But I also have pre-cut one of these. And I thought that might be kind of cool because it's going to be a flower here. Just to add a little bit more oomph to the inside because, you know, it's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. It's just the way I am. So I'm going to give that a wee trim. I'm going to trim it here and then probably trim it some more. All right. And yes, I'm keeping that piece. <laughs> if I was to make a tag, I would put it on that. Now, lucky me didn't go over the edge so if I'm really really lucky I can get that off there there we go may 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 Sandy 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 did you bend that piece maybe Ooh, one more exciting thing by the way this is exciting for me because I haven't had my hair cut in I think since the fall I know it's not awful um is I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow <laughs> Wondered where that story was going. Let's go up here. If you're one of those people that doesn't like to write a whole lot on the inside of the card, this is for you. Alrighty, flip her over, cut off the excess, cut off the excess, get the excess to not stick to the back of your card. It's still stuck to my finger. Too funny. So yeah, next week you may you might be seeing me with short hair. It's true. There, I like that. I'll show you the original, um, of course. This time I needed an original. Oh, I'm not popping it up. I just remembered that. I don't usually pop up the inside of the card. I will embellish it as well. Let's go a little bit lower. There we go. And... I can get my glue dots in and under there. I'm just going to take a wee boo at the original. See what I did. Okay. Oh, I did more. Oh, I got I got real fancy. Ladies, I got really fancy. And I did more. And one on the back, because that is not going to stick. I did more. And more. Oh, oh I was going to say I thought I did it the wrong way. Uh... There we go. Now, I still have a couple of these guys left. Told you I'm not wasting them. That feels like the backing paper. It is. Okay, I have a couple of these left. <laughs> and I'm just going to put those on the card. Again, really hard to get that off when you can't see what you're doing. Go to a bigger spot, Sandy. Go to a bigger spot. Anybody know a trick to getting this off? Um, Put it in the uh, comments, please. Oh, there's Gail and Julie. Hello, ladies. We're getting close to the end, but, you know, I'm I'm slow as molasses. So, uh, you know, so I'm still talking, still creating. And what I was saying is um, I'd like you to 
let me know what you want to see in future videos. Do you want me to make more cards in the video? Do you want me to, um, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Let's cover up that little oopsie right there. So yeah, I just thought I would just add a little bit more. And then I'm done with it. I've used the entire, uh, the entire sheet. of this piece, this entire sheet of wet sandy. Yeah, already, and I can just slide under there. It's a lot of dots and such, but you know what, I really, I'm just gonna make that one a different length. I like the look. Okay, we have one vote only, so we're going with black. Black for the sentiment, the choice was black or red, and I cut that way too close so I can understand why black won. That is, that is, um, can quite the insight on the card. I don't usually do that much, but it's funny that when I'm doing a card for a blog hop, Instagram hop, I kind of like pull out all the stops because the other ladies are like super talented. You need to check it out. So again, if you're not following me on, um, on, um, one second, on Instagram, um, you, let me switch that. Yeah, I like them better that way so I can put this here. Stay. Stay. They probably will move. I can put another glue dot under there, but for now, we're going to stop. Alrighty, so there's the front. So we're going with black. And I forget if I finished my um, little statement. Let me know what you want me to do for future videos. All right, I gave you all the dimensions, yes. Um, let's do a little cutting for this. I may um, I may just, well, we'll see. I'm just gonna cut her down a bit. I think I didn't like this one, I wasn't gonna keep it because I have one little extra bit of um, embossing there. But you know what, I'm gonna live with it. Oh, thank you, Julie. Thank you, Julie says beautiful card. Alrighty, and I still have my hello, because when you've got that heat gun out, just keep keep using it. You, I was just looking for my scissors again. Let's cut the top. No, let's cut the top this way. You know, I have this whole I can't cut straight thing. I don't know if you're the same. So I don't take a chance when you're putting it in that close, but I'm up for a challenge. Oh, you know, I just realized. Yeah, it's pretty straight. Pretty straight. We're going with pretty straight. I think my standards have just been lowered. Pretty straight. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And then we're almost done. Almost. So, you know, last week when I did six cards, that just about did me in. Seriously. I'm going to tuck that under just a little bit. Oh, here's another question. Real quick one. You have choices. I can use this as a little bit of um, decoration. I can also, I do like this, I do like the, um, I think this is Coastal Cabana. I do like it with the Sweet Sorbet and just a little bit of embellishment underneath. Um, so those are our choices. Let me know. I'm gonna put dimensionals on the back of this while I wait for your replies. Just make sure that's going to tuck under that corner. So I'm not going to put anything right there. I am having the worst time. Again, this is what happens when you cut your fingernails short. Oh, there's, oh, I found a full one. Yay me. There we go. All righty. Why don't I just try it out and see what it looks like? Kind of like the blue. Jo no, Joyce likes the blue. Well, let's see. I'm just going to cut a little piece for starters. That's too little, but I'm going to cut a piece for starters. And just see how... We're just going to pretend. Right now we're in pretending. That. Or... now you And you know, there goes my screen again. The blue shows up better. You're right. You know what? It really, really does. Because after I did this and took the inside out and then frayed the ends, you could almost hardly see it. 
So yeah, let's try. Let's go with blue. And I'm going to make that a little bit longer. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Three votes for the Coastal Cabana. I do like wispy ends. So I am still going to do this and untie this a little bit. Two ways of doing this. There's more than two ways of doing this. Use that. Use your fingernails. Use whatever works. It's not going to be a bow. <gasps> Shocking, I know. It's not going to be a bow. And usually when I do this, I don't put the... Uh... I don't know if that's going to show up the top or not. Hmm. Questions, questions. Or maybe I'll just cut that shorter. I could do that. Much better when you've sharpened, or not sharpened, cleaned your scissors much. Get the, the gluey stuff off. I actually, maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll put a post out asking, asking again what, what y'all want to see on my videos. All right. Different lengths. Yes. For sure. A little bit right there I kind of like the frilly ends you know something has to be messy something really has to be messy and I may cut them down a little bit more let's get those off do 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 so again these ex the exclusive which is the um, irresistible blooms and the entire stop and the entire <laughs> Um, sweet will be available as of tomorrow and there's going to be a bunch of other goodies added in there as well. I want to put this up higher because I want this tucked under. It's the beauty of using the tape like that. And again, oh no! Whoa! I got lucky. Phew. Just tuck that under. Stay. And then let's finish embellishing and get her done. How does that sound? Cool. Alrighty, here we go. Um, you know these are my favorite, right? Because <laughs> they pretty well go with like everything. So these are the rhinestone basic jewels. Um, here. Here. Still an odd number. All right. I may change that for a bow. I don't know. Oh, thank you. All right. Except that I did that. Cut off that just a little bit. There's the original. And you're right. You can hardly see this. And I didn't have it sticking out the top because it's shorter. So I may change that too. I may just... I could tuck that in like that. What do you think? Tucked in or left out? This is an interactive card tonight where everybody gets to help. And then the inside. So I'll show you the difference with the inside. There's that one and there's that one. So all depends. Like I like the extra little punch of red because this is the only red on the card or sweet sorbet in this case. Okay, and Joyce wants to see that out. That works. And then this one with the little ends. And I also, well, there we go. So there it is with all its fine texture and so on. Again, that um, blog hop, Instagram hop goes live tomorrow at 8 a.m. Thank you for your lovely comments. I will try to answer them. It might not be tonight. Um, I know I have a couple celebration orders to input for customers. So there you have it. Thank you so much for joining me again and i will see you next tuesday at 7 p.m bye bye my friends